Article number 12. These motions are all a two-thirds majority to be voted, and each and every one of them still needs to go to the voters for a prop two and a half override. We'll be taking each of these individually. Motion one. Move that the town appropriate $761,250 for the purpose of purchasing a heavy rescue pumper for the fire department. Included in the payment are all costs incidental and related thereto. And to meet the appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval of the select board, is authorized to borrow said amount under, per, under and pursuant to chapter 44, section 7, parenthesis 9, of the general laws, or pursuant to any other enabling authority, and to issue bonds or notes for the town therefore. Provided, however, that the vote taken here under shall be expressly contingent upon the approval of the voters to exclude the amount to exclude the amounts to pay for the bonds or notes authorized for this purpose by the provisions of a ch proposition two and a half so-called. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Motion and seconded. Selectman West. I just wanted to provide the votes from the select board and from the Finance Committee. The Select Board recommends a four in favor, zero opposed, one abstention, and the Finance Committee on this particular item recommended four in favor, one absent. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, these are gonna be debt exclusions. We have a fire rescue pumper that is on schedule to be replaced. The one that we're replacing is a 1987 Pierce Arrow pumper and because the new, the new heavy rescue slash pumper truck is a rescue vehicle, we would be replacing the 1987 rescue van also. So we're gonna, one pumper rescue would replace two 1987 pieces of equipment. It's a debt exclusion, which means it would be set up for the life of the loan and then it would come off the taxes the impact on the taxes for this purchase for an average home in hadley would be twenty five dollars and fifty six cents and that would be a ten-year note any further discussion Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed, motion passes unanimously. Motion number two. Move that the town appropriate $179,500 for the purpose of purchasing and upgrading radio equipment for the police department, police and fire department and communication center to include payment of all costs incidental related thereto and to meet the appropriation the treasurer with the approval of the select board is authorized to borrow set amounts under chapter 44 section 7 parenthesis 9 of the general laws or pursuant to any or pursue and to any enabling authority and to issue bonds or notes of the town therefore provided however that the vote taken here under shall be explicitly contingent Upon, the, uh, upon approval by the voters to exclude the amount of pay for the bonds or notes authorized for the purchase of the, prop of the proposition two and a half so called. The select board um, is again recommending this 401 and the finance committee is recommending this 401 as all. Selectman West. Capital planning uh, recommends 300 as well. This is the second project is a complete overhaul of the radio equipment in the public safety complex. It's for the police department to dispatch dispatchers in the fire department. This is part of the major upgrade to the equipment that we have over there. Um, we've in earlier articles, we voted some stuff in computers and the like. This is for the radio system. Once again, it would be a debt exclusion which means once the loan or note was paid off, it would come off the taxes. 
and the impact on taxes for this purchase for the average home would be five dollars and eighty five cents um, if anybody has any questions I can have Chief Spank Niddle here and Chief uh, Shanley to speak to the needs of public safety and the radio upgrades Mike? any further discussion there is a motion. Is there a second? second. Motion and a second. Is this also a 10 year note? Are, are, yes, sir. Are, are all of these 10 years? Thank you. Great question. Any further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Motion number three. Move that the town appropriate $135,000 for the purpose of purchasing and installing emergency generators for the school department, including the payment of all costs incidental and related thereto. And to meet the appropriation, the treasurer, with the approval of the select board, is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursuant to chapter 44, section 7, parenthesis 9 of the general laws or pursuant to any other enabling authority, and to issue bonds or notes to the town thereof, provided, however, that the voters taken here under shall be expressly contingent upon approval by the voters to exclude the amount of pay for the bonds and notes authorized for this purpose for the provisions of Proposition 2 and a half, so called. Is there a motion? Is there a second? second. The capital planning recommends this uh, three to zero. The select board recommends this three zero one, and the finance committee recommends this four zero one as well. Selectman West. This project would be for a new generator for Hopkins Academy in the elementary school. Over the last couple of years, it has come to our attention that the generators that are currently in place are not sufficient and need to be replaced. It's an ideal time to do it. Um, and we've actually had firsthand use of these generators over the last couple years. And um, I would say they've well uh, lasted, outlasted their lifespan. The, the tax impact for these purchases would be $4.31 a year for the average home in Hadley. Thank you, Selectman West. Any further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Two more, ladies and gentlemen. Move that the town appropriate $83,000 for the purchase of purchasing, purpose of purchasing a dump truck for the Department of Public Works, included in the payment of all costs incidental and relative thereto. And that to meet the appropriation, the treasurer with the approval of the select board is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursuant to chapter 44, section seven, parentheses nine of the general laws or pursuant to any other enabling authority and to issue bonds and notes of the town thereof. Provided, however, that the vote be taken hereunder shall be expressly contingent upon the approval of the voters to exclude the amounts for the pay and bonds or notes authorized for this purpose for the provisions of Proposition 2 and a half, so called. Is there a motion? Is there a second? second. Motion and then seconded. Again, the Capital Planning uh, Committee recommends this 300. The Select Board recommends this 401. And the Finance Committee recommends this 401 as well. Selectman West. These last two trucks are for the DPW. Um, the first one is a replacement of a 1995 uh, truck that was on the schedule to be replaced last year. The Capital Planning Committee deferred that to this year and we were able to get another year out of that truck. The other truck is scheduled for replacement this year. That's a 1996 um, dump truck, one ton. Both of these trucks would cost the average home in Hadley $2.77 per year. And to sum up what we're doing in this motion, 
We have a combined impact in taxes of 161,000 annual payment for all five items. The off, if you offset the retirement of the debt from the elementary school and the public safety complex, and the, and the 134 annual payment is expected to come off of taxes in FY15, the impact on taxes for the total of these five motions would be $41 in 21, uh, 26 cents. Again, we're voting on the individual truck, the first truck that we uh, made mention of here. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Uh, Peg, it's about five and nine, I was supposed to remind you. Motion number five, this is the second truck. Move that the town appropriate $85,000 for the purpose of purchasing a dump truck for the Department of Public Works, uh, including payment and of all costs incidental related to thereto. And to meet the appropriation, the treasurer with the approval of the select board is authorized to borrow said amount under and pursuant to chapter 44, section seven, parenthesis nine of the general laws or pursuant to any other enabling authority and to issue bonds or notes of the town, providing, however, that the vote be taken here under be expressly contingent upon approval by the voters to exclude the amounts of pay for the bonds or notes authorized for the purchase from the provisions of Proposition Two and a Half, so called. This one's just a touch different, ladies and gentlemen. The um, uh, Capital Planning Committee recommends three zero. The Finance Committee uh, recommends against zero four and one, and the Select Board recommends four four zero and one. Selectman West, do you? you to conclude and wrap up your points? Okay. Um, this is just a, a thanks to the department heads, the Capital Planning Committee. We've been at it for four or five years and we've been vil vil vigilant with the department heads saying please get your capital planning schedule to us so that we have time to allocate funds and to process them um, if you go back seven or eight years, it was literally town meeting was coming up, department heads would come in with capital request. We're trying to get away from that. And so that's why you see items like this. This truck is scheduled for replacement. It was put on the schedule years ago. And, um, and that's what we're looking for as far as the capital planning committee is concerned. Thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Four opposed. Motion passes. Article 13. Move that the town transfer the Holyoke Range property from the select board in its capacity as the board of water commissioners for water supply purposes to the select board in such a capacity and for such purposes as also for the purpose of leasing said property for telecommunication purposes and to authorize the select board in its capacity as the board of water commissioners to enter into a long-term lease agreement and place telecommunication facilities to be placed on the water tank there on and to grant such access, ability, utility and related easements on said property as may be necessary or convenient to serve the telecommunication, telecommunication facilities. Is there a motion? Is there a second? second. Motion and then seconded. The uh, capital planning recommends three zero. The finance committee recommends four zero one. Select board recommends five zero. And uh, Selectman Mooring, if you could please talk to the article. This is a two thirds vote as well. Thank you. So what we're doing here is we're asking the town meeting to give us authority to actually enter into a lease and to go out for an RFP to lease this property. If the 
town meeting says no, then this process is done. But we have to ask you to do this. We have had one company, one cell phone company, come to us and ask us to use this site for a cell phone tower. Um, if you approve this, we will go out with an RFP. The RFP will stipulate access to the tower, control of the site, and whether or not we can use the uh, top of the tower for emergency radio or emergency communications. And it will also lay out the terms of the lease money and any other item we wish to put into the RFP. So this is the first step of a long process. It's not guaranteed that the company that came to us will actually win the process if we do this. So we're just asking you to let us begin this process. Thank you. Further discussion? Uh, Alan Peterfroyne, 14 Hockenham Road. Um, so first of all, I recognize it's probably an appeal for revenue, but um, I'm a probably the singular butter of the tank in terms of providing the town easement on access to it. This is the first, today was the first time I've heard of this um, arrangement, uh, the, the, the motion. Um, so there's a bunch of issues around easement in that this is not through town land, but it's through private land to get to the water tower. There is a, an easement that allows to the water tower for that purpose in place. Um, secondly, uh, there's a concern I have with a tower there for one of the main reasons is, uh, two reasons, one is sight line in terms of it's not, the tower is not visible from the road nor from the ridge line. So you have a pure view of the ridge uh, that this will interrupt and probably with a light. And secondly, there is probably the issue of migratory birds coming through that area, which are regular, which are regular and what the consequence of a water, of a tower would be. So not knowing what the process would be moving forward to um, giving the authority to the select board uh, actually, I move to pass over. Second. You cannot do that. You can speak to an article. You cannot move it once you've spoken to it. You can get in line again and do it if you would like, but you can't speak to an article and then ask for it to be moved. Shell Horowitz, 16 Barstow Lane. I'll do it then. I'll move to pass over. Is there a second? Second. Further discussion? The article has been moved to, or asked to be passed over. There seems to be some abutter questions and some uh, property questions regarding the article as brought forward by the gentleman who was speaking to us. Any further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to vote on the uh, motion to pass over the article. Simple majority. Yes. It's a simple majority. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Motion will be adhered to. We will pass over. Thank you for your input, sir. Article 14. Move that the town vote to transfer from overlay surplus nine, I'm sorry, $9,908 to pay assessed man, assessments mandated by the Massachusetts Department of Insurance Mega Property and Casualty Group. Selectman Keegan, we welcome you up. Forgive me, uh, the Finance Committee recommends uh, 401 and the Select Board recommends 50. Is there a motion? Is there a second? second. Motion and then seconded. Thank you. Uh, about 14 years ago, the Massachusetts Education and Government Association, MEGA, uh, an insurance provider entered into the property and casualty business and promptly lost uh, a fair amount of money. Sure. Um, so this organization, MEGA, had entered into the property and casualty business as an insurance provider and in fairly short order lost uh, a good amount of money. In October 2011, the Massachusetts Insurance Commission conducted an actuarial review of their finances and concluded that MEGA did not have sufficient surplus to fund additional required reserves or to cover a potential shortfall of any unfunded claims. As a result, the Insurance Commission mandated that cities and towns that held insurance through MEGA owed a back charge to cover the exposure for potential liability claims. Massachusetts Insurance Commission has the power through state law, um, you can read the Massachusetts General Law Citation. The town of Hadley formally did receive insurance coverage from MEGA, but dropped them as a provider back in 2006, except for workers' comp. The town was assessed a total charge of $12,180.20 under the orders from the Massachusetts Insurance Commission. 
The assessment covers the period July 1, 2003 through June 30, 2006. In response to the Commission's order, the Town of Hadley joined a number of other towns to appeal and fought the assessment for two years, but ultimately all such appeals were, appeals were denied and the town is mandated to pay the charge and a suit has been brought um, to, enforce, to enforce this payment. So this is a one-time payment and a yes vote will resolve the matter and put it behind us. Any further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your card. All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Article 15, move that the town authorize approval and approve an agreement for payment in lieu of taxes, a pilot program, pursuant to the provision of Mass General Laws, Chapter 59, Section 38HB, and any other enabling legislation between town and the BWC Origination Huntington Road LLC for a solar facility to be installed, owned and operated by BWC Origination Huntington Road LLC on land located on Mill Valley Road and further authorize the select board to take any actions as may be necessary to carry out the vote taken here under. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Motioned and seconded. Um, the Finance Committee has recommended this 401, and the Select Board recommends this 401 as well. Selectman Keegan. Um, so the town, is, the town has been approached by a solar developer about entering into negotiations for payment in lieu of taxes for a project in North Hadley. Um, says no negotiations have started as of April 14th. I believe there was a meeting as recently as today. Right. Okay. Um, it is further my understanding that um, the meeting tonight is one vote in the process, but if there is um, any agreement struck, that town meeting vote would be required to ratify that agreement. So this is one step in the process. I know everybody's interested to hear from John Washkevitz. He's been so quiet over there tonight, John. You're, you're coming up shortly. Any further discussion? Edwin? I'm Edwin sorry. Ma Edwin Matusko, 116 Stockbridge Street. There was an article in the paper that on Monday that Blue Wave is being bought out by another company. Now, will that, have, because Blue Wave is specifically mentioned in this motion, will that somehow affect what's going to happen? That sounds like an attorney question. Hey, all right. <laughs> well, uh, that's a very good point. I wasn't aware of that. It, it uh, to be on the safe side, we could say between the town and Blue Wave Capital or its successor. I mean, I don't know. Does anyone have any information about this? And we've been dealing with Blue Wave in a number of communities and. Uh, in any event, on, just to be on the safe side, certainly no harm in putting you after Blue Wave Capital or its successor. Thank you. Would somebody like to make an amendment to say that Blue Wave and successor a friendly amendment? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Been moved, seconded. I'm very sorry. It's been moved and seconded. Call for a vote on the amendment to add the verbiage there that says and successor. Or its successor. Or its successor. Any further discussion? Uh, I, on the amendment. I'm not on the amendment. Okay. Hearing none, let's call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your card. All those opposed, the verbiage will be added. Further on the original, okay. on the discussion. Uh, Bill DeWire there. from the Planning Board. Uh, I have a question about the form of the motion. Uh, Blue Wave or its successors is um, dealing with the property on Huntington Road. 
Uh, but you also mentioned Mill Valley Road in the motion, did you not? I did. That is a different party who I think has already entered into a payment in lieu of taxes. I'm just not sure what we're voting on. It seems to be garbled, like maybe you reused the last motion without. I, we don't have the motion you read in the warrant. Would you like to strike the Maybe hunting. Is the property on Huntington Road or Mill Valley Road? Mr. Maximowski. You're on. In front of health clarify some points. Blue Wave Capital has sold properties on Huntington Road and Breckenridge Road. They do not have the property, the first one that was put in on the Blue Wave property, right behind the bike path on Mill Valley Road. That one was the one that we approved last year for payment in lead taxes. Just for edification, whose is that? I can't see that at all. It's not my head. Okay. Next day. Next amp. Next, next amp. Next amp. That was that we approved that I believe at our last town meeting because that was the first one to go in. Okay. Thank you. Blue Wave also has property on the Breckenridge, Breckenridge, uh, Huntington, and I believe they have the one at the industrial park. So there's three of them. The, the one on Breckenridge is the one that's breaking ground, so that might be properly the one you're talking about, but the, the motion as read was... I, I completely agree. Okay, point of clarity. Where's the request come from? Blue Wave? Yeah, from the town, actually. So you're not going to identify Breckenridge Industrial? No. And so you're just going to leave it? Okay. So the amendment? Okay. Point of clarity. And I'd like to meet, read the motion again, and thank you for pointing these out to us. Move that the town authorize and approve the agreement for payment in lieu of taxes pursuant to the provision of Mass General Laws, Chapter 59, Section 38HB, and to other enabling legislation between the Town of Hadley and BWC originators of Huntington Road, LLC, for solar facilities to be installed, or its successors. Thank you. For a solar facility to be installed and owned and operated by BWC Origination Huntington Road LLC or its successors and further authorize the select board to take any action as may be necessary to carry out the vote taken here under. Is that correct? That is the amendment. It's the amendment to the motion. Is there a second? Further discussion. You have I have a question about name. Uh, Joel Joel Sachs, 15 Holly Road. Um, just payment in lieu of taxes. Can it be clarified? I, I think I understand what that means. So that's instead of them paying taxes on the land itself, that they that. So I'm curious what the difference would be, and how that was determined. How that gets determined. What's the difference if they were paying regular taxes on the land versus how that whole payment in lieu of taxes gets figured. Solar developments um, under Massachusetts general law are allowed to enter into negotiations for pilot 
uh, agreements with municipalities. I'm not aware of other um, entities that can do that, but uh, uh, very often these uh, developers will approach a town and ask for an arrangement where in lieu of taxes they'll make payments to the town uh, and the town, if it, they think it's a favorable deal for the taxpayers, will so enter into those agreements. And so both parties benefit. Uh, typically the town will get an assured level of income which is greater than the taxes in the long run. And the company that uh, enters into the agreement has a, uh, uh, understands its cash management over the long run and is aided that way. So it's usually a beneficial agreement but we still have to negotiate this. This is the first start of that uh, whole process. And as Selectman Keegan had pointed out, in order for the contract to be ratified, it would need to come to back to town meeting before it would be ratified. Right. Any further discussion? Could you restate it? I guess it kind of sounds like you're only, it kind of sounds like you're only mentioning two companies. And do we want to limit it to two companies or just any company that comes in town. I don't- I Are you making an amendment? No, I just, I, I, don't, I didn't know if I heard it right, that's all. I'd like you to clarify. Uh, first, just to clarify one point of confusion, the, um, it doesn't mention Blue Wave Capital specifically, it's that BWC origination Huntington Road LLC. That's the current, owner or, or the person has it under agreement, and it says, or its successors right. with an S, so it would be anybody following them. Okay. Any further discussion? We need to vote on the amendment. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? One opposed? Okay, now I'd like to vote on the motion. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed. Five opposed, passes. Article 16 was addressed as a consent agenda. Article 17, the beginning of our CPA. Move that the town authorize the select board to acquire by purchase gift and or eminent domain on such terms, conditions as the board deems appropriate an agricultural per, uh, perseverance, uh, preservation restriction on all or portions of the two parcels of land, one containing approximately 4.9 acres located on West Street and shown on assessor's map 4D as parcel 28 and the other containing 4.7 acres located on Honeypot Road as shown on Assessor's Map 1 as parcel 38. Which parcels are described as deed recorded within with the Hampshire County Registry of Deeds book 10,831 page 285 and further to appropriate $33,800 from the Community Preservation General Funds for the foregoing acquisition and costs related thereto. Is there a motion? Is there a second? Motion and seconded. Is anyone here to talk from the CPA that would be able to discuss this article? Edwin Matusko, Conservation, uh, Community Preservation Act Committee recommends this by a vote of six yes, zero no, and there were two, uh, three absences. Edwin, are you going to explain to us what a yes vote from the CPA means so a, that we don't get confused? A yes vote from the CPA committee means that we review the request and we find that it meets the parameters of the CPA Act. Therefore, it can come before town's me town meeting for a vote. Thank you very much. Hi, uh, Paul Alexanderson, Conservation Commission. Uh, we support this, this article. Um, these are two fine farm lots, uh, one on West Street near the village area and the other um, in the historic Honeypot area. Um, we would like you to support this uh, article. Thank you. 
Andy Morris Rubin, 45 Roosevelt Street. I'm the at-large member of the CPA committee, but I'm just giving my own opinion. I'm not speaking for the committee as a whole. Um, there's currently $1.4 million in the CPA account. <clears throat> Last year, we got a 100% match from the state um, for close to a $500,000 payment, um, including our Hadley share. Um, if all nine CPA articles pass tonight, it's a little under $523,000, less than half that's currently in the account. Now, Mr. Moderator, like many people here, I am a proud member of the Democratic Party. And our party has a philosophy, which to paraphrase is, spend the money. See a problem, spend the money. It may seem like a lot, but all of these CPA articles, in my opinion, are worthy of support, and I hope people vote yes. Thank you. Any further discussion? Seeing none, I'd like to call for a vote. All those in favor, please signify by raising your cards. All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Article number 18. Is it talking out of school for asking whose property that was? I noticed the next article, it's identified to us the property owner. Would, is it a talking out of school to ask who that property owner was specifically and thank them for their donation? I don't know it. Mr. Alexanderson, do you know? Fed Pirog. Thank you, Mr. Pirog. 